What's up YouTube? What's up y'all? My name is Rabbi Barry Jones and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. This is the graphic design contest episode 11 submissions. Okay, so um, this is going to be a long video because we had 26 submissions. So I'll have to be as fast as I can. Yes, so these are the details. This is the details that I provided to you guys. Um, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Asante Kotoko College, name Pastor Benjamin Fodjo, position Asante Kotoko College President for 2022, and slogan determined to move forward. Hashtags Olubaba, hashtags um, KNUSTASKC, and the social media handle is Instagram and Twitter Olubaba. Okay, so let's get into it real quick. So, um, with the first work, we had a submission from um yes quiz graphics yes quiz graphics um i wouldn't say he was the first guy to bring his work but then in the order that i'm doing the submission video yes he's the one i'm i'm, I'm at first right now okay so first of all i'm going to commend him for the background and yes you guys i gave you a few backgrounds and just one font so one thing you guys should notice is if you used any other thing aside the fonts and the backgrounds that I gave you, you automatically disqualify. You're not going to be part of the contest. Yes. So, if I give you like um, 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 only one background, I'm giving you one, only one background because, like, how are you going to work with the background as a graphic designer? What can you do if you are limited with resources? Maybe you've traveled somewhere and you're given like just a background to design something i mean how well are you going to give out your best that is the thing that's why i gave you guys only one font so if i notice a different font aside the one i give i gave you guys it's a i mean straight disqualification so let's get to it first of all your man brought in a very nice background yes and you you can see the yellow accent here very 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 nice and also i see he calibrated the image a little bit very very dope and one thing that i did for you guys i um, um, um i provided the image as a png so you didn't have to go through cutting the background and all those things okay so let us check alignment with this so um let me just start from the Kwame comma okay so this is the ruler and when you look at the ruler here i'm going to be as quick as quick as possible because charlie there are a lot of works that i need to go to so the alignment starts from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, comes down and aligns with the Pastor Benjamin Fodjo, comes down and now we, we have a misalignment here. Yes, so automatically there's a mistake here. The determined to move forward should also align with the Pastor Benjamin Fodjo and the Kwame Nkrumah University of um, Science and Te Technology. Yes, and um, let's let's see one thing. Um, Pastor Benjamin Fodjo as Asante Kotoko College President, hopeful 2022. Okay, for the as Asante Kotoko College President, it was cool. I mean, it was very nice. It's cool the way you did it. But then the hopeful 2022 is not that visible. You see, the the pastor is wearing a suit, and um, the suit is blue, and you give out a color of yellow. I don't know if it's yellow or I don't know. But then it's more like a lighter shade of yellow so you also stretched it a bit and i see that it's cool all right but then people need to see that he's contesting he's going for a position and he's going this year so hopefully he's going to win the college president yes so that one needs to be very 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 soon and when you come down here we have um hashtag olibaba hashtag yes for that one i think it is very cool where you placed it because mostly the social media handles are supposed to come down um it comes down with the um, and the slogan yes yeah, determined to move forward so i think it's a very nice design that quiz graphics brought um, i love the background personally i love red so i mean it's a very nice thing that you've done here and how you placed the white um, 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 um rectangle at the bottom of the design is very good so yeah um he, he also added another thing i don't know you guys 
when I when I say you guys should do something, just do only one because two I already know what to do to do with the two. So yeah. Um guys, um thank you Quiz Graphics for entering the contest. Let's check him out on Instagram and he's known as Quiz Graphics. Um no. I think it was Quizy with a yes Quiz rather yeah Quiz yeah this is the handle. Let me just enter real quick so you guys can see what he is about. Okay. So yeah, these are his works and um he's he's very good. He's very you guys should check him out. You guys should check him out. So follow him, follow Quasi um Quiz Graphics for um updates of whatever they are. Okay, so thank you, Quiz Graphics, for entering the um, the contest. Let's move on to the next person. We have Eugene. Eugene um from I think it was he sent to me on IG or so. Yeah. Okay, so this is Eugene's submission. And first of all, the background is dope i'm pretty sure you guys know this background from somewhere i recently posted a video of um, um how to create um like dope backgrounds you need for your designs in 2022 yes that is what he did right there and i mean it's cool so let's check the alignment and see so let's start from the benjamin for draw and with this one he left out the name the pasta I don't know why he did that, but then he left out he left out the pastor. So Pastor Benjamin Fodjo is out, determined to move forward and whatever. Okay, so first things first. I think the logos are very huge, big big logos. I mean, the logos they need attention, alright, but they, it doesn't have to be as huge as it is here. Mainly because the main attention is supposed to be drawn on the person, the person's name. So Pastor Benjamin Fodjo. Is the one going for the position going for the um, um, um aspiring for the position you understand so people should glance at the flyer and the first thing they should see is his name then they will come down and look at what he's doing like the kind of position he's going for and all those things yes but on the on the on the on the low i think you've done well with the background and everything and with the alignment to your align to the left very nice alignment and we have askc president hofo but when you look into the um, details i gave i said it's asante kotoko college president hofo i didn't give you the shortcut so that's one thing that you should also notice as a graphic designer always follow the details the client gives you yes so um i think overall it's a cool um a cool work that you've done you didn't color grade the image though but it's nice and also i don't know 2022 image teams impact image all these things don't really matter because you are bringing the work for a contest you understand so it's not like you're going to give it to a client or something so next time try and make sure to i mean um, um omit all those things yeah so overall next time try and add all the details don't create shortcuts i mean just something that will make sure that the client won't get anything to say when you submit to that like anything now you you sent to him you wouldn't say anything oh you've done this you've done that you've done that yes so um eugene um thank you for joining the contest let me see if you are on um ig i think the name was eugene okay guys so we have eugene here and it's his name is eugene Rekun Ata. and let's see if he has oh he hasn't posted anything yet so um thank you eugene for um entering the contest so the next person we have here is um uh, wait i didn't really nah i forgot to add uh, this guy's name oh come on so whoever you are i'm just going to oh damn all the same let's just move on because without with even though we don't have your name we are still going to get the review done yes okay so first of all this work is dope this work is nice the main reason why i'm saying it's dope is because he followed the background process i mean the the type of images that i gave him for the background was added very cool so first things first let's look at the alignment yes so i think when it comes to the alignment everything is cool but the arrangement is where the problem comes in so whoever you are oh charlie the name oh they pay me so we have i gave you guys two um two logos the asante kotoko logo and the kenya city logo i don't see the kenya city logo here and all i see is the asante kotoko college you didn't add the kenya city um, um logo and also the text and i don't know why you didn't do that but then it is very essential to add it and 
this is what i always say the the approach that you take to design the flyer is 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 what's going to make it beautiful or not you understand so you approach this like a church flyer but then political designs are different from church flyers you understand the way the way you placed his name as pastor benjamin for it's more like he, even though i gave the name pastor benjamin because the man here is a pastor all right but then he's a he's a pastor going going in for a political position you understand so his name is the one that matters so instead of president hopeful 2020 it should have been pastor benjamin for here then the president hopeful um uh, the asante kotoko college president hopeful would have been be, be, um under his name you understand then determined to move forward will also move below plus the hashtags and everything you understand yes but overall i mean my problem is with the kenya logo you should have added the kenya logo to um the asante kotoko logo that's the only problem and also the image here shouldn't be here because because we already have his image here at the right side so if we need another image of him it should be at the left side i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say yes and also i can see um the asante kotoko logo here it shouldn't have been there it shouldn't have been there the main reason why i'm saying that is because the background is not as uh, solid enough to host the, uh, the the logo as this as is, as you see it right here yes so one thing i'm going to do after i'm done with the submissions video i'll do my own separate video that i'll be creating this political flyer from st from start to end just yes, so you guys can see how you can design a political flyer from scratch i already have like tons of videos of political flyers on my channel i don't know if any of you checked it out before designing this but all the same um thank you whoever you are for joining the contest i really i'm really i really i'm sorry for not saving your name because yeah, yeah I, i've made a mistake so let's move on to the next person we have um acidity not coffee okay first of all gosh man i have a problem with the background like i know you were trying to take the colors from the logo but then i can see a tint of orange here there's a tint of light green a tint of light green i don't know what you are going in for and also when you look at this right side we have blue here so let me give you a tip mostly when you are designing for um when you're designing a political flyer and you want to go in for colors try and go in for colors from the logos you understand but then it shouldn't be it shouldn't i don't know how to put it you see we have red here in the kwame Nkrumah logo so automatically you can add red we have green here automatically you can add green we have yellow then we have green and yellow and black also in the asante kotoko logo you understand so you have to pick the colors from the logo to design the flyer for the blue i don't know why you added the blue probably because the pastor is wearing a suit blue a blue suit so yeah i understand that one so um let's let's look at the alignment here so uh okay now nah, this is where the thing comes in you see the kenyan logo is not touching um, um, um the line i'm aligning starting from the pastor benjamin for your the name you see for this one it's it's in it's in alignment with the line but then the currency logo is not in alignment with the line let's come down here they determined to move forward is in alignment with it but then the shape is oh as far you see it's behind i don't know i don't know but then let me give you what i i want to give you first of all it's going to be like this pastor benjamin for you as asante kotoko Co um, college president hopeful 2022 that one should be very visible very visible but not, not as much as visible as the pastor benjamin for you understand because the name should be very visible then when you are done the determined to move for the font you use for the determined to move forward you automatically <laughs> disqualified because i didn't add this font yes that i don't know i don't know you guys confuse this thing the main reason why i gave you resources are because you're supposed to use those resources i gave you and not your own you understand yes so charlie acidity acidity not coffee at the back next time episode uh, episode 12 please 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 make sure to follow the rules eh? so with this with this being said i'm not going to continue with the um the comments anymore i'm just going to go on to the next person so next time please do well to use the things that i'm going to give you
Okay, but then thanks for joining the contest. Okay, let's move on to the next person, and we have um Akinjo Bolarinwa Emmanuel. Okay, nice. Okay, nice, 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 nice. First of all, the background is cool, but then as I said earlier on, the blue is not working. Yes, even though he's wearing a blue suit, it doesn't work with the logos that we have here. You understand? So it's either red, green, or probably black or something yeah so for the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in school Asante Kotoko College to a school now let's let's check the alignment here so with the ruler I'm just going to drag here nice so uh okay 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 there's there's a little bit of fault here the B is touching the line the P is not touching the line and the F is not touching the line and when you come down here the, the A here it's past the line the d here is not touching the line but the hashtag is touching the line and also the social media is social media handle is not touching the line and also the kenyc logo is past the line okay so um um, um Emmanuel, next time when you are doing the design use use the ruler and make sure the ruler is touching no the text is touching the ruler in an aligned format you understand so that if if anybody is checking for those things that person is not going to get you or anything you understand yes and also i love how you presented the pastor benjamin for joe but then my only problem is with the asante kotoko college president hopeful it is very small and people need to see the kind of position he's going for you understand yes for the hashtags they are very cool the social media handle too is very cool so my only problem with this is how little the um the position is going for is and also the background that is blue for the color grading i love it i love the color grading you did you you you, you did very well on the color grading yeah so akinjo bolarinwa emmanuel um thank you for joining the contest let me see if you are on ig uh akinjo okay 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 it's here it says at create concept at create concept you guys should check him out he does very wondrous works check him out and um give him a follow yes okay so thank you Emmanuel, for joining the contest we, we we wish to see you in episode 12 okay let's move on to the next person and we have banks graphics banks graphics so banks graphics brought this submission and first of all I don't know what happened to the background i have tons of video like tons of background videos on my channel you didn't watch any to do this but then all they say let me just review the um the, the alignment the, the typography and everything so when i look here i think you qualified no you didn't no what i'm seeing here is quite different from what i thought it was so let me let me let me give you something real quick you see where the line the ruler is touching right only the text are supposed to touch that that area not the rectangle you understand only the text are supposed to touch the the ruler you understand so um the rectangle could have been much more much more further from but all the same let me just let me just put it when it comes to the rectangle and the text there are a lot of differences mostly people tend to do it like this but then they make sure that the the the, the font that follows also touches the line you understand right now the the ruler we have the rectangle touching the ruler all right but then the benjamin and the forger is not touching it and also you forgot to add the pasta i don't know why you forgot to add the pasta but then with the typing of the asante kotoko college president and the whole 22 i think it's very cool it's very dope like there is no fault here I love how you did it then when it comes to determine to move forward to yeah i see you utilized it that one is very nice too and we have olubaba kenyasi ac uh, kenyasi askc and we have the um social media handle too as well right now all these are very cool including the name but there's a problem here you see the kenyasi logo is little then the kotoko logo is very much bigger it shouldn't be that way the size should be the same so let me bring in the rely look at this yes when you look at this this way it looks very normal but no the kotoko logo is much bigger than the kenya city logo you understand the kenya city logo is the school logo and the kotoko logo is the college so the college is under 
the university you understand yes that doesn't mean you should make the the college logo smaller but then it shouldn't be as bigger as it is right here okay so the next thing that i should i'm, I'm going to talk about is the background like i don't know i don't know bro i'm going to i'm going i'm going to i'm going to pardon you for this one but next time kindly watch one of my background videos so that you can i mean attach it and get a very nice background you understand yeah and also i see you added some whites along the lines of the pastor's image probably because you did a white background that's why you did that but all the same it is cool overall you've done a good job except for the background yeah so um banks graphics thank you for joining the contest let me check you out here on instagram and see if you are there banks graphics um let's see yo we have him here banks graphics you guys should um check him out follow oh my network oh man oh Ooh. so banks graphics doesn't have any content on his page um i'm pretty sure he's, he, he will start posting very soon so yeah um thank you for joining the contest let's move on to the next person and we have creative joel so creative joel came up with this dark theme yes it looks very dark and i love it you understand so let's take a look at the background here okay so i see he added more of the detail image that i added and i see we have the benjamin here behind the pasta and i see we have the tie and the upper body of the pasta alone here i don't know why you did this it's supposed to be his head only his head but i don't know why so next time when you're doing that try and do it something like this it's supposed to start from his head on, on top of it or what am i saying on top of his head up to this side you understand then you scale it up as big as you as as you can to make it i mean be at a background in a very cool manner you understand yes so let's check the alignment for this one i think he he centered or i don't know is it a left or right okay let me just see yes so for this one we have the pasta the pasta is not aligning with the rest the benjamin forger is aligning the rectangle is aligning the whole full the whole full rectangle is aligning the determined to move forward is aligning but the hashtags are not aligning so this one is either you align to the left to the right or to the center any one of them will work but then if you are confused about choosing any i mean you're going to confuse your viewers you understand those who are going to look at the flag and also i love how you you placed the logos in a white ellipse i mean it's dope it's very nice so we have the Kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology at santa kotoko college too here nice but there's a problem there is a spacing between this and this you see the Kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology is one name so it's supposed to be together so kindly check that out check that out yeah so um i think let's look at the color grading for the color grading it's cool i love how intense the image looks but my problem is there are no reds around the work you understand but then you created like a hue and saturation to do like a red thing here you understand and i don't know why you did that but all the same next time try and erase just a little part here so it will look as if the reds are passing just along the edge of his um, um of, of the image you understand yes so um overall it's a very nice work it's a very dope work it's it's, a, it's the only background and um and the image that i'm having a problem with plus the alignments it's it's not it's neither center aligned or left aligned or right aligned yeah that's the only problem so um let's check him out on instagram as um creative joel creative joel let me see if the joel is going to pop up nope let me just add it so creative joel uh yes first one let's see if he has some works there uh my network damn okay so this is creative joel and um he has he has some few works here so you guys should follow him check him out and then um, see what he has going on okay so thank you creative joel for joining the contest and um make sure to come back in um episode 12 okay let's move on we have dky graphics dky graphics this is his submission and damn let's put the text aside the background and the color grading of the image is just sweet 
it gives me goosebumps oh my god oh my god a la commodia this one is very nice okay let me let me just go straight why did you why did you make the pasta the pastas color blue i don't know i don't understand it should have been white if if only you made it white like you have you are far gone and i love how the kn usd logo the, the the wings in them are right behind M M M. oh damn charlie aside aside the pasta the the pastas um, um, um the color of the pasta that you did is blue i, I said that i think I, I don't think i have a problem but the only problem i have here is you use a different font in the work damn so i'm going to disqualify you yes and i think even even so the kwame kuma university of science and technology is a different font charlie oh hey but the way you've color graded the work like the image and the background charlie i love it i mean it's it's very cool but then my problem is with you using a different font outside the funds that i gave you but all the same let's let's see i think i think yeah he also okay the only problem we have is the kenya C logo is way past the alignment line but all the others are bright bright right there i mean oh dang all the same um dky graphics next time please don't use any other fonts apart from the fonts that i give you let's check him out no you are not even going to check you out because you <laughs> you use a different font charlie sorry 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 so in episode 12 kindly do well not to add a different font aside the font that i give you guys okay but then thank you for joining the contest let's move on to the next person and we have eboss the creative and we have eboss the creative and we have eboss the creative from togo yes so we have um our west african brothers coming in charlie charlie look at that color grade man god damn so this is a very dope work i love it the only problem is he added a different font in it the benjamin Fajo here and the um that creative here is a different font i was expecting you guys to know this and even so the Kwame Nkrumah university of science and technology also is a different font overall i love the work that you produced I mean the background damn the light the, the the light in the middle of the work the color grading on the image it's very dope but i don't know why you made the 2022 very big like this we want the name that's in the pastor's name pastor benjamin forjo to be as big as it should be so instead of the 2022 being this big it should have been his name rather then the asante kotoko college president for 2022 would have been under his name so next time can you check that but all, all the same charlie this is a very dope work. this is a massive work i love it um i really wish i could enter your instagram page to show you uh, to show guys what you you are up to because but i have a problem with you using a different font i don't know if i pardon you I'll, that would be unfair to the other guys so next time in the next episode kindly do well to use the funds that i provide so aside aside you using a different font i don't i don't really think i have a problem with um okay you know something in episode 12 kindly do well not to use a different font yes please do well but overall charlie this is a very nice work yes thank you eboz the creative for joining the contest thank you thank you thank you let's move on to the next person and we have um foothills creative agency my, my guy foothills has been with us from episode one damn damn charlie that kind of that kind of consistency yeah, you won't get to you won't get charlie thank you eh? thank you for you've been you've been with us since episode one my guy you, you are doing well so okay well this this is why he brought and um we can see oh my god is this a different font yes or is the same font? no the font i provided oh my god photos you didn't even use the font that i provided i think this is neck next hour or so oh charlie why you guys why i told you the link in the description has the resources that you're supposed to use for the work god damn why oh come on this is a very nice work that i would love to review but then use the different you know something in episode 12 kindly do well not to bring in any other fonts from outside yes please 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 i'm begging you guys i don't want to do it like it pains me 
not to review your work because you used a different font you understand it pains me that i'm not even going to your instagram page to show people what you're up to because you used a different font damn all the same um Charlie, this is a very nice work i love the approach that you came with um the, i think i think you added a little bit of touch to the image it is very nice but please in episode 12 do not the do not that i said right now is in uppercase i did beg okay but then thank you for the host, for joining the contest thank you very much for being with us since since okay let's move on to the next person we have genius arts genius arts and this is the kind of work he brought dude I love red. The red, the red I'm looking at here is very nice. Like I love this red. Hey, Charlie, red nefe. Hey. So, um, when you look at the background, he used the detailed, um, the textured image that I added, and I can see he slanted the Pastor Benjamin a little bit, and the Fudge to he tried to slant. I don't know. It's more like you did um random slant here, and it's very, 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 very. very like i'm not going to recommend it to you to do i mean don't don't slant if you are going to slant make sure the slanting that you are slanting should slant because if it doesn't slant you are going to slant yes i'm giving you bars so i'd like to show i'd like to show like a very quick way to do the slant thing um oh charlie i have a very slow pc today i've been using my pc since yesterday so it's quite lagging a little bit but all the same let's just do what we have to do okay so um dude god damn you guys should give me just a little a little okay so with the slant in here when you when you select the, the text and let's say you type something so let me just type something real quick let me just type in something real quick so let me type in um father Ooh. father right no no okay father's is cool let me choose the font that we all use stretch sans okay then i'm doing this so that next time when you're doing a slant a slant at work you don't you don't repeat what you did here because here i see you've slanted to the left you've slanted to the right to the i don't know so with this oh come on Hmm. You guys should pardon me a little bit there. So with this, first of all, you you move to the characters here, the character four fonts. Then you toggle in the italize. So after italizing, you click on the transform points, shift a little bit like this, then hold control, point to the middle here and drag more if you're not cool with what you've done here you can slant it the more hold control and drag the upper part the more so now we have a very dope slanted work here you just duplicate and one thing about slanting it if you slant the first one you don't you don't have to slant another text yeah you just have to duplicate the rest so right now i've duplicated this and i'm just going to type in fathers benjamin something like this i mean you get you get the idea even though it's not the right text but then so that is how it's supposed to be when the moment you slant the first text do not try to create another slant there and then you understand duplicate the same and use it over for the whole thing you understand that's how it's supposed to be yes so um uh how do you call it genius art i mean i love the background and i see you color graded the image a, a bit i love that one as well but then the overall the kind of um, um, um alignment and um, um typo that you brought in was what that um the thing that brought you down so yeah but then thank you for joining the contest let's check him out on instagram as genius am i even spelling him? genius at Mm, no genius at let's see i think this is his no i'm not sure i'm not sure so um genius at i don't know if i asked you for your instagram handle but then i think i'm missing it but then all the same thank you for joining the contest and please make sure to come back in um, episode 12 and kill it 
the next person we have here is jak 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 and your man brought in a green and yellow themed work okay first of all i'm going to disqualify him because i see a different font here determined to move forward he used her time i didn't include her time in the resources so why would you bring in her time and even so i can see um is this go or beba snoo i see go or beba snoo and i even see a different font here so charlie this one there you guys are disqualifying yourselves because i stated in the video there's a link in the description with two images two logo no um, um two logos an image a font blah 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 that doesn't mean you should bring your own no i've already provided it so why would you bring your own oh charlie but if I were, let's just check him with the alignment and see if it's cool and if it's on point yes yes with the alignment everything is cool except for the social media handle but then i mean uh, right now we are not even reviewing the work because he brought in a different font so all the same and also the design by jak shouldn't be here because you are bringing it for a contest so i might even see if let's see if you used the font that i provided for all these and use a different font for the design by jak i can disqualify you you understand because it's part of the flyer so next time don't add the design by jk because you are bringing it bringing it in for a contest and also i love how you color graded the image that I, I can see the intense uh, um, intense filter going on in there okay so um thank you jak for um joining the contest and um please do well to come back in episode 12. let's move on we have cash man music and this is what cash man music brought and um Hmm. he also used a different font for the determined to move forward you see as a graphic designer you have to wait what is this young cash graphics presents you this was not part of the details that i provided bro so why would you even add this man this is a straight qualification like disqualification charlie but all the same i don't know why you left this massive space here the pastor benjamin for joe should have been in the middle here and all the details you see there is no space um, um under the olubaba and even so i gave out instagram and twitter right it was instagram and twitter but then i see youtube and twitter here so i don't know what happened but all the same overall the background is cool the orange and the red is cool but please next time use the font that i give you guys because you see because of that i'm disqualifying all of you you understand i'm disqualifying all of you i never said you should and some of some of some of um, you guys asked me again on youtube about the font yes the the the, 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 the resources as uh, overall and i told you not to use any other so i don't know why some of you added a different one. but then all the same cashman music thank you for entering the contest and please do well to come back in um episode 12 with the the resources that i'm going to give yeah okay so let's move on let's move on let's move on we have kenneth ado kenneth ado and this is what kenneth brought yes you see the same slanted thing i was talking about so let's look at the determined to move forward right here you see the determined to move forward and the olubaba kenust askc might be on point but the rectangle here is not on point let's look at the um, yes the kwame nkrumah university of science and technology you guys should look at this very well you see there is a problem here yes that's because you slanted them separately if only you slanted just one and duplicated them one after uh, one after the other to i mean typing that would have been very 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 cool okay so let's look at something here that i love i love how you duplicated the asante kotoko um college president hopeful and i see um this yellow behind the whole thing it's, it's given it this kind of feel that i really i really i really 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 love yes and also i see this can thing here i don't know why you added this it wasn't part of the details the details are the ones that you provided here and also the background is cool i love how you did the background all right but then when it comes to the upper part here i see this kind of faded orange yes it, it doesn't have to be that way if if only the upper part here was like they were all red from down here coming up were all red i would have been i would have been cool with it but then i see this orange blend here and it's not really 
cool for me yeah so let's check one thing as well mostly when you're designing there should be a breathing space in your designs this is what we call a breathing space so from here you guys should track the ruler and from here and from let's say here and from here so you see the spaces that i've provided on the edges are what we call breathing space you understand it makes the work breathe i wish I, I could go let me just go into my page and show you guys something real quick the breathing space makes the work breathable makes the work presentable very nice you look at the work and you can really get what is the work is trying to give you i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say yes so when you look at this work there's a lot of spaces up here there's a lot of spaces a few spaces at this side there's some space here and as it then some space down here that is the breathing space that i'm talking about and even so when you look at this work that's the same thing so if you want to get a very nice presentable work make sure the breathing space is working yes you see your your text they are almost touching the edge and that is not good it's not good at all so yeah um overall it's a very nice work that we provided i love how you color graded the image like you no i, I don't think you color graded the, the image you only took out the black the colored um, um and proportion out of his face and his hands but all the same you've done well so um kenneth ado thank you for joining the contest and i don't know i'm, I'm not sure you are on instagram but let me just type in him, kenneth ado to see if anything will pop up ah there are too many connects here so um next time can you do well to add your um instagram handle and guys let me let me say this please um when we are doing the second um sorry the episode 12 kindly save your work with your instagram handle you understand so that i can enter into your page and showcase your works so that people know what you're up to you understand yes so thank you kenneth for joining the contest let's move on to the next person we have mr wood my own brother mr wood and yo y'all y'all look at this work y'all just look at this work man damn 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 first of all let's check the alignment and when you look at this everything is on point starting from the KNUST logo to the KNUST text to the pastor benjamin forgio to the lines here yes this is what i was talking about mostly you can make the lines work with the alignment and just shift the details here inside a little bit or you can just make the text and the line the whole thing just touch the thing and um, touch the the, the the ruler here yes but overall just make sure you have a very presentable work that's the thing so mr wood brought this work and charlie yo he even created a logo for um the pastor pastor benjamin for you you see the bf here damn i don't think he color graded the image but then it's cool mostly people don't really like when you color grade the images okay so let me point out a few um mistakes that you did one the can the currency logo at the background here is supposed to be in a luminosity blend mode so let me create something real quick and show you um, um what you were supposed to do so yeah you see this black here eh? you select the black you come to normal then you just switch real quick to luminosity here and afterwards you just reduce the opacity to any kind of percentage that you want you understand yeah that's that's what you should have done with the um with the kenyan logo at the background and it would have made it very very nice and i also love how you placed his image at the left side here it's, it's kind of giving me like a how do i like a type of feel you understand yes and also i see a bf22 bf22 down here it's not part of the details i provided though but then i don't know also yes this is one thing i wanted to address pastor benjamin forjo you see the p the b and the f are in red is it red or is it my my, my my monitor i don't know if yeah i think it's pink or so it's more like a deeper pink yeah it shouldn't have been that it's either you chose like a lighter color from so let me let me do something real quick here eh? let me do something real quick here so um as i said earlier on the video is going to be long but i'm pretty sure you guys are going to watch so i've sampled the color green the light green from the asante kotoko logo so i'm going to move to the lighter aspect of it then i'm going to use the paint brush to just you understand 
and this looks much much more presentable than the pink that you built you understand yes so next time instead of using the same color you see the background has the same color and you understand what i'm trying to say yes so um thank you mr wood for joining the contest i mean this is very this is very dope i love the work let's check him out on instagram and he is there as mr wood studios mr wood studios where are you where are you where are you where are you yes eric wood um you guys should follow him and check his works out he's 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 top notch and yeah this is him fanboy man is he's giving you the fanboy vibes you understand he's giving you the fanboy vibes hey my internet too hey mtn mtn hmm, charlie uh, i don't even know what to say okay so yeah this is mr wood and charlie he's giving you the fanboy vibes you, you guys should check his page out and um, um check him out and see what he has going on and he's been with us throughout the whole contest i mean yeah your man he's, he's he's too good yeah thank you so let's move on to the next person and we have m rich graphics m rich my buddy my buddy my buddy my g charlie your man brought in a monochrome type of thing and i must say i must say i must say charlie i don't know let me see if he added a color no this is what he brought so first of all i can see the kenya c and the kotoko logo at the background and he duplicated it a lot more yeah so i'm rich charlie i'm rich i'm rich brought a monochrome and this is this is cool yo let's move let's move on so first of all wait ah okay 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 okay, okay. i thought it was a different font i was about to disqualify him as quick as possible so with this i think he did a centered alignment and my only problem with this whole thing is look you slanted the pastor benjamin forjigo as i got college president hopeful blah 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 with the hashtags and everything but then you forgot to slant the Kwame and Kroma university of science and technology too and also instead of doing this you see you you just typed as i got college in addition with the knust text you understand it's, it's not supposed to be like that you have to hit enter bring it downwards then continue to do your thing yeah so overall i mean I, I can see you did something with the image it's cool it's very nice i love it but then next time please do well and work with the best lighting for me yes yeah thank you um i'm rich graphics for joining the contest let's check him out on instagram and he's there as i'm rich graphics i'm rich graphic yeah the first one i'm rich graphics yup 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 yeah so you got oh charlie i'm not following you oh 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 oh, oh i'm sorry eh? oh so i follow you I, I followed you back in oh sorry 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 so i'm rich graphics this is his page you guys should check him out follow him and um yeah during my birthday your man spoiled there for me oh charlie this 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 design thank you eh? thank you i'm rich you, you do all you do all let me comment let me comment so yeah i'm rich thank you thank you thank you for joining the contest thank you let's move on to the next person and we have oj multi printing and damn 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 it's the same font you see that's why i was the main reason why i don't want you guys using a different font it's the same font but the kind of arrangement that you're going to use is what really matters it's the same font that you guys are using but look at the kind of arrangement he has done here that is what i want yes so automatically if you bring in a different font i mean it, it seems like you are cheating yes so let's check with the alignment here and oh my god everything is perfect like the pasta the benjamin the forger the a the p the h everything is cool like i don't know what to say but what i'm going to say is that the logos and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and the blah 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 and the whatnot. Let me just do something real quick and see. I don't know. Maybe you tried to do something with. Um, let me see. Let me just duplicate. Probably you tried bringing it somewhere here and maybe it didn't work or so. I don't know. Yes. If if you if you had done something like this, that one too would have worked because with this one you you just have to reduce the size of the logo like this not not that not that not that big but something like this yes because 
overall everything is dope but my problem right here is the logo is spaced out from all the other details you understand so i don't know if maybe you tried this this, this tool would have worked yeah i mean this is a very nice work that he has brought so for the background i have a problem with the background why why the green why the green why is the green here you understand the reds the red the reds are doing the job and then you bring in the green no matter say bbi oh oh my guy so the greens are my problem yes even if even if it was there but then without the detail you see the details here the textured here the, the, the textured background here is what's disrupting the whole work you understand yes and also when you look at the image he took out the colored aspect as in the face and it's very nicely done it's very neat i must tell you it's so so neat you won't even spot anything look at this you see the gold here the gold here on his wrist everything is perfect everything is intact so charlie oj mode printing my guy next time do well to my background is cni because this is a very nice work you understand yes and also i can see oh ah, okay i was about to say i can see the otun for logo here but then and um, the otun for colors here but then i'm i'm pretty sure you took it from the asante kotoko logo yeah all the same one thing that i've noticed here is the ken usd logo and the asante kotoko logo is not on point you understand so next time try and do that as well yes so um thank you oj multi printing for joining the contest let's check him out on instagram as oj multi is this is one probably that probably that is his original page let me see hey my network hey 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 mtn hey okay i think i think this is him right yeah 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 oj oj multi printing yes so you guys should check him out follow him and um check his works out i mean he has dope works here and see what he has going on okay let's move on to the next guy and we have philip edu philip edu and this is what philip brought so the time is far going i don't know it's more like we have reached like 40 minutes or 50 minutes i don't know but then i have to really do this quick, 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 quick. so philip edu i love the background but not the color I love how you did the background but not the color the detail the textured in the background is very dope and why did you it's more like this this is this is giving me like a passport feel you see the passport you have the image here then you have a small image to here this one shouldn't be here it's either you make it as big here to fill the whole space here that's something that is very acceptable and also the kotoko logo and the kenyansi logo is cl they are they are they are crashing over here they are crashing they shouldn't crash so the kenyan c logo should have been on the upper side here then the kotoko logo could have been at the lower part here and they wouldn't crash yes let's move on so the pastor benjamin for Joe in alignment with no there's a problem so the pastor benjamin for Joe, it's only the f that is aligning yes the p is not aligning and um i think this one goes way beyond the line the hashtags too and the twitter symbol too so please kindly do well to check that one out and also the image to try to check that one and i love how you did the kind of swell effect down here yes i i, I mean i love it it's cool and you separated the determined to move forward from the you know something i thought this was the work and the white is more like a preview type, type of thing that you are doing you understand but then next time try and bring the slogan into the design to make it whole e so you used a different font okay then you are disqualified though oh charlie i didn't even i didn't even see it early i've i've, I've already given the the review oh charlie philip edu kindly kindly do or uh, not to use a different font a different font outside the font that i give you kindly do and also you, you made a mistake here it, it, it's supposed to be asante kotoko college president but he did the akc president so next time please don't use a different font out of the um font that i give let's move on we have ferro graphics studio is it in ferro no p h i r charlie your name eh? unless you send me a voice note to where charlie you have to send me a voice note okay so he brought two works this is the one and this is the two i don't know 
which of them I should review. But let me go with this one. So with this, let's check the alignment and no. So with this, I think the B the B is somewhere else and the F is somewhere else. They, they are not aligning. And even so the rectangle here is not aligning with the whole thing. Yeah, so kindly check that. And you used a different font. This is not the font I gave you. Yes, the font I give you can't go regular like this. So Charlie. That I intentionally didn't tell any of you that yo, you use the different font, go and change it. No, I wanted to come here, review, and if I see it, I just disqualify you so that next time you just know that yo, let me let me let me stick to my thing. And with this, you didn't even bring the social media handles, and I didn't see the determined to move forward. Okay, the determined to move forward is here, but then the social media handles are not here. So, Charlie, next time, please try and use the same fonts that I give to everybody else. Yes. Even with that, I think the uh, yeah with uh, okay okay I think the Benjamin Forjo is the same font that I gave, but the um, hashtags is a different font. So Charlie, but all the same, thank you for joining the contest. Let's move on to the next time we have Rich Mews Mews. I, I I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Rich Mews, Riches Mews. Yeah 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 yeah. Riches Mews. Yes, Charlie. So now another blue background because of the suit the man is wearing. No. Don't, it, it's not right please next time try and go along with the colors from the logo yes and also when i look here it's more like the whole detail is powered up at one place and with this i gave out the detail as pastor benjamin for Joe, asante kotoko college president hopeful 2022 but then you you omitted the asante kotoko it's not here so please next time do well to bring in that detail and also instead of going in with um, a lower case for the name try an, an upper case the upper case really works well with the kind of preview you want to, to give to your client you understand yes for the name present uh, for the logo and the um, college presentation yeah, i think it's cool it's very dope i mean it's it's cool and also i see you duplicated the kenya c logo and um, brought it back here that too is very nice yeah but overall next time try and space out the details so that it, it gets to i mean move everywhere you, you understand it's not like you just look at the work once and you know everything that's going on there so yeah richest muse kindly do well to um, work with the corrections and please do well to come back in episode 12 thank you for joining the contest let's check him out on instagram as riches muse let me see if he is on instagram as riches muse oh come on is there a problem because it's like I'm not getting it. Probably it's my network. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's my network. Yeah. Yeah, probably it's my network. But all the same, um, thank you for joining the contest. Please make sure to come back again. And yeah. Let's move on to the next person. And we have R M Lekwathi. I don't know. I don't know if I'm butchering your name or I'm saying it right, but that I don't know. Like, is it is it right? Yeah, so RM like quite okay. You are disqualified, bro. The very reason why you are being disqualified is because I didn't add her time to the fonts. So you, you are you brought in her time to so automatically. But then let me give you one review. You see, from all the first re review and the correct the questions that I give, you should know that this is not the right place to um place the Kotoko logo. It's supposed to be beside the Kenya logo. And the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology here should be beside the whole. It's, it's either it's going to be under or by the side. You understand? Yes. Then Pastor Benjamin Fodjo. And when you look here, it seems we are we are aligning to the center. If we are aligning to the center, then that it means there shouldn't be any kind of matching. I, I don't know how to put it. You see the R and the N here is on point but then the b and a, then the f here is not on point but when you come down here determined to move forward is in a center alignment and the asante kotoko college president who four is in the center alignment so i don't know what you're trying to do but next time it's either you align to the left or to the right or to the center something like that will be very very cool and also you did something with the image it's more like a hot type of thing on the left side i mean it's 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 fairly cool but all the same kindly do well to take note of 
the um corrections that i've given and please 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 guys next time do not bring in an external resource no outside font no outside image no outside nothing please okay thank you rm lequathy for joining the contest and um yeah he also brought this type of color grade and i mean i i prefer this to the other one because the other one the kind of hot thing at the left side was kind of giving me a different vibe but all the same thank you for joining the contest and um i hope we'll see you in episode 12 let's move on to the next person we have smack smack studios and this is the kind of work smack studios but he 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 gave us like an an ashy type of background and um i mean it's cool but it's more like there's a lot going on in the background you understand we have the logo here we have the image here and even the the image is too i don't know how to put it it's too visible yeah you should have reduced your opacity a little bit but all the same let's move on to the next thing to see so i see determined to move forward here behind the pasta yes oh. this is one thing that i've been saying here eh? we have the kind of rule there's this rule that you need to follow you are following the rule all right but then you can break the rule and you break the rule in such a way that you're not going to over this thing i'm about this thing i'm seeing i don't i don't know if you guys are going to understand we've set the rule there you break the rule but then you make sure you are breaking the rule in a in a in a good way you understand so pastor benjamin Fodjo, as Kotoko college president for 2022 then determined to move forward will follow down here it's after you've done that then the client might say oh um can you can you take my slogan and place it somewhere different for me for that one it is very cool but then with the normal rule that we use for political designs you have to bring the slogan under the position that he's going in for and also the logos here are very little like they are so little like they are so little i can't even see them i mean i'm zooming but i can't see anything i can't even see the logos where are they oh i'm just kidding charlie so yeah next time try and open it up a little bit something like um something like this something like this would have if it would have been even perfect yeah something like this would have been perfect yeah so um with 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 the alignment i think you aligned to the center so i think everything is cool let me align to the center here with my ruler yes everything is cool here and i love how the shadows from the rectangle here are all are overlaying on the hashtags it gives this it gives it this kind of feel that i can't really describe but then it's very cool and hey you are this, you are disqualified though hey, you used hey so why would you even use autograph in this design oh charlie i just saw this 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 font here is unacceptable it wasn't part of the resources that i give but all this time i've already given you the review so yeah and also there's one thing i'm noticing here you placed the um the the textured background on top of the image you see there are some stuffs here on his mouth and his left um, his right face my right your left no what am i even saying it, it shouldn't be there you understand the detail is supposed to be on the background alone and even so when you place it on the image you don't have to make the the, the, the face you have to clean the face aspect you have to clean the face side then it will affect any other side but then shouldn't affect the face yeah overall it's a very nice design um thank you for joining the contest you use a different font i would have entered your instagram account so yeah kindly do well to come back in episode 12 but then don't use any other font aside the font that i provided so the last person that we have here snips illustration snips illustration and my guy brought in a very dope work but then he came with blue because the pasta is wearing blue and that is not acceptable it is not acceptable but all the same i don't know is this a different font because when you type the hashtags in um, um the font that i give this is not the hashtag that you're going to get so i don't know if you used a different font should i disqualify him no i'll spare you this time because I, i'm not really sure okay so with the background i love how you did the background but then let's picture this in red eh? in red it would have been Mwah. then you should have reduced the detailed um the texture detail a little bit because i mean over here it's too much at the background so next time try reduce it small like reduce it to a little bitty type of thing so that i, I mean it doesn't really affect the background that much you understand yes and also i see that 
Asante Kotoko logo here in green and yellow and all the colors. No, next time change the blend mode to luminosity and you are good to go. So let's check the alignment of this work. And I'm pretty sure he nailed it because, um, yeah, okay, so he nailed it. One thing that I'm not comfortable with is um, the stroke. I mean, you only stroke the logo if, well, I don't know, it depends, but then um, overall. You have done a very nice work. Um, smack, um, Snips illustri illustration. Yes, Snips illustration has also he has also been with us um, um, since day one. I'm a, I'm pretty sure. Yes, he's been with us since episode one or so. Yeah, Charlie, you are doing well. You are doing well. Keep forcing, my G. Keep pushing. Yeah. So, um, guys, I think that will be it. I'm pretty sure I've got everybody's work here. If your work is not here, then maybe you came in too late for the contest because overall I have twenty six yeah 26 works that i got so yeah guys um that'll be it for the submission video after that after that i've after i've uploaded this video i'm going to do um my own version of the political design and i'm going to explain like detailed i'm going to de detail explain things that you need to know you understand so um Thank you all. Thank you all for joining the contest. I'm super grateful for you guys for participating in the graphic design contest. We're going to do episode 12 and it's going to be massive. I'm going to put something on. The last time in the episode 10, I put um, a one gigabyte graphics card on as the winner, the winner's gift. But then you guys didn't really even come through. I don't know if you don't like um, um, color grading or I don't know. But then episode 12, there's going to be something for grabs. So you guys should really 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 um come through so with this with this if i'm supposed to choose the winner of this contest tally i'll go in for oj multi-printing yes the main reason why i'll go in for oj multi-printing is because the kind of alignment he brought the kind of i mean you guys should look at this work i mean it's cool it's very dope so he's going to be at number one and for number two, for number two, I, I, I can't even decide yet. But for number two, I'm going to give it to Ferro, Ferro Graphics Studio. Yes, I'm going to give it to Ferro Graphics Studio. And this is his work, this one. Yes, um, he also brought in a very nice work. The only problem is he um, he came in with a different um, um, font. Yes, and he's he's disqualified. I don't know why I'm even giving the second to him. Charlie, you didn't win the second at the back. At the back, you are disqualified. Let us look for a different second person. So with the, with the um, number two, who are we giving it to? Who are we giving it to? Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood also came in with a very nice work, very dope work. So let's give number two to Mr. Wood. Yes, because, I mean, Charlie, this work is... Mwah. Yes. So for number three, I don't know. You guys should vote for number three. Who, who do you think should take number three? Um, put it in the comment section so that we know the number three. Yes. So guys... um that's it for the video kindly subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll make sure to see you in episode 12 um six fonts you need for your designs in 2022 part four is coming so you guys should anticipate thank you and see you the next time bye bye <laughs>